Hey guys, welcome back to the Financial Minute. My name's Josh. Thank you so much for joining me today. As you can see, slightly different background. Once again, I'm all about varying it up a bit. I'm on my way to work, and I thought I would make a video about a funny moment, or not really funny, just how I was able to purchase a house that had a issue that the bank wasn't willing to finance. Uh, well, let's get right to it right after this. So guys, funny mistake I made when buying a house. This wasn't really a mistake, I should say. This is just a funny event that came up. We were purchasing a house, and said house had a few issues. I'm just going to talk about one of them today. And it was the front patio. You see, the inspection had come up with a problem with the patio. So the patio was a covered patio, but it was slanting towards the house. It was probably about, I don't know, about the, as much slant as you get on a typical flat roof. So something like that. Maybe not that much. Just, just a slight slant, but it was slanting enough that you could, you could notice it towards the house, which honestly is not what you want, because any water that does end up blowing in on that patio during a windy rainstorm ends up, you know, draining right towards your foundation, which you don't want. So to be fair, this is an issue. Though, I never did fix it because it's a well-covered overhang, and I'll try and get a picture of it and put it, put it in the video. But nonetheless, this wasn't something I wanted to fix before I bought the house because things happen and maybe you know the purchase falls through for whatever reason. You know, these kind of things happen all the time, so you don't really want to go spending money on a house that you may or may not buy. We had come up with an accepted offer, but I didn't want to go spend money to fix you know the, the porch because. One, I wasn't thinking I'd fix it once I bought the house, if I did buy the house, which I did, by the way, end up buying the house. Two, I definitely didn't want to go fixing it without actually having, you know, the title in my name, because if it fell through, uh, you know, any money I spent on that house, the bank gets to keep. And they told me I wasn't allowed to be messing with the house anyway. It's kind of a weird situation. The seller says you're not allowed to touch the house. My bank that was financing that house said, well, that had to be fixed in order to buy the house. So it's kind of in a, a tough spot there a little bit. So what I ended up doing is, so I went down to Home Depot, or Lowe's actually, and bought some deck boards and some shimming material, and we laid a loose laid, I didn't screw it down or anything, uh, uh, floor over the patio and leveled it out so the new floor was perfectly level. I explained to the inspect uh, the uh, to the guy that did the inspection what I was doing and he's like, yeah, that's cool. So he took some pictures of it and said it was fixed. Problem solved guys, I was able to buy this house that the bank and have another bank and you know and have a bank let's try that again. And have a bank finance it. So no money out of pocket for me. In fact I gotta check cut back to me at closing because I worked out a deal with the seller because of all the headaches I had to go through to buy this house. They said, hey, we're about to close. I had a lot of issues and loopholes I had to jump through to get this done because this house needs some, you know, needs some TLC. Could you cut me a check for $3,000 to cover some of these expenses that I'm going to have to fix? And they agreed. So at closing, I got a check for three grand to buy it and I you know, I bought that house, and the house is now rented, and get this, guys, it cash flows a solid $700 a month for $0 out of my pocket. But anyways, none of that would have been possible had I not gotten around the bank's request to have a properly done patio. Uh, it also, the bank also requested a properly done rear deck, so I had to replace a few deck boards. Guys, you gotta sometimes jump through some loopholes to get these houses financed. Uh, but I was able to do it, and like I said, it cash flows today. But it was it was definitely funny loose laying a patio over a patio to get to get it past the bank's requirements. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching today. 
If you haven't already, please give this video a huge thumbs up. It really does help. And if you could, share this video with a friend or two and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. Remember, only you can make your financial dreams come true. Don't delay. Get started today. Be safe. God bless. Bye.